Hi, welcome to FightingWorks.com. I'm Dino Holmes, and I'm going to show you how to wrap your hands today. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of wraps out there. There's the, the wraps with the hoops. Uh, there's wraps with Velcro. Um, they're like really long <laughs> or really short. Uh, there's all kinds of wraps out there, but uh, what pros like to use and what I, I'm really fond of is these Mexican hand wraps. It's a gauze-like type of wrap. Um, I use two per hand, and, and it makes a, an awesome, beautiful, uh, protective uh, weapon or, or protective, uh, I guess it's a weapon, uh, it protects your weapons for you. What uh, most people don't do is uh, make a little pad, uh, like a, a preformed pad for their knuckles. They use the wrap uh, to, to pad their knuckles and that wastes a lot of wrap that you should be using to protect your hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some gauze here. You can just get some gauze anywhere, get it from me or whatever. Uh, if you can't find it, I have it. And uh, you just want to lay out some gauze like this about the width of your knuckles or slightly outside the width of your knuckles. And let's go back and forth okay. about, oh, say 20 times or so. So that's okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's really important that when you're wrapping your hands, you, 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 you do it properly and you protect your hand as much as possible. So we're going to after we get this uh, going back and forth uh, a few times, we're going to go ahead and cut off, either use all the gauze that we have or just cut off the remaining. And we're going to just cut off the remaining here. And you're just going to take some athletic tape, some cloth athletic tape, and uh, then you're just going to tape all this gauze together. But before we do that, we want to bend it over a little bit so that we're basically doubling the cushion and then we're going to tape all that together. There's no specific way to tape that together. Um, these are like 20 years old so that's what it looks like after time and talking about I got that other one I did on. Don't I? <laughs> So back and forth a few times, you just want to make sure that none of the cloth or the gauze is sticking out. Just do it a few times back and forth so that all you've got showing is tape. All right, so. We're going to take this pad and run it across the top of our knuckles. And what we want to concentrate here on the wrapping is uh, securing the back of the hand, uh, protecting these, all these little bones in here, all these metacarpals, and the capillaries in between your fingers. That's really important, uh, in which when you concentrate, again, concentrate on uh, protecting your metacarpals and the capillaries in between your fingers. If you don't run wrap in between your fingers, you're going to get a bunch of busted little capillaries in here and it's not pretty and it's probably not good for you healthy health wise either. Alright, so we're just going to lay the pad on top of the hand. Again, uh, these are the Mexican hand wraps. They don't have any uh, loops or anything so you're just going to hold the end with your thumb and you're going to wrap it around about three four times to secure that knuckle pad over your knuckles. And as you're doing this, you want to make sure that your fingers are nice and spread out so that as you do this tightly, and not so tight that you're cutting off the circulation in your hand, but tight enough that you're supporting those knuckles in that pad. And then you're going to concentrate on going crisscross across the back of the hand. And while you're doing that, you're going to come up and in between or over on top of, in between the fingers to protect the capillaries in your fingers.
And then you also want to protect the thumb by pulling that nice and tight against the forefinger and securing the thumb as well. And again, you got a crisscross action on the back of the hand. And this is going to protect all those metacarpals, all those little bones in the back of your hand. Keep on going in between the fingers. And then finish up. Again, wrapping side to side, the back of the hand, and crisscrossing. Always a crisscross or diagonal motion so that you're securing all those bones. And then you just take the end and you wrap it underneath or push it underneath. You don't have to tape it or anything. Again, I use two wraps per hand. Some people use three and use one of them as, as the knuckle pad. But uh, I like to pre-form my pads and, and just do it that way. So now we're going to start the second wrap again the same way. And we're going to start with our crisscross motion. We're basically concentrating on the hand now. The thumb, maybe you know another wrap or two. So we protect that thumb, We're starting to get it to look kind of pretty here. And again, back and forth. And you just want to start going up the arm so that you're securing the wrist as well. And again, instead of just a, a straight wrap around, you want to do that diagonal motion. And that's going to kind of secure it from side to side. So you have a nice, stiff, and supported weapon. And there you have it. That's how you wrap your hands so that you protect yourself while you're fighting, sparring, whatever, uh, while you're hitting the bag. You're going to tuck that under there. And that's what she looks like. That's a good wrap. That's a nice tight wrap. You can see probably how tight it is. It's basically a little cast. I'm not going to hurt myself when I'm thumping the bag. I'm not going to hurt my opponent because I've got a nice cushion there. Uh, it's just a safety factor all the way around. You can see both of them don't look alike, so you're never going to do the same wrap twice. The, the thing you want to concentrate on is getting a cross action here across the back of the knuckles so you, or back of the wrist or hand so that you're protecting the metacarpals and side to side here so you're keeping the knuckles nice and firm together and again crisscrossing criss up the arm. So there you go. Thanks for coming to Fighting Works and uh, stay in touch with us so that uh, you can see all the new tips that we bring up and uh, jump on for some classes. Have a nice day. Thanks.